I want you guys to imagine for a minute. You're lying in a hospital bed, sick with pneumonia. Every breath you take is a struggle just to get air. The doctor walks in and administers the last ditch antibiotic through your IV, and you slowly close your eyes and hope against hope that it works, telling yourself quietly that you're too young to die. Antibiotic resistance is a major problem facing our modern society, and developing new ways to combat these superbugs requires a better understanding of the processes essential for bacterial life. Bacteria are surrounded by a sugar and protein meshwork called the cell wall, which gives structural rigidity to the cell, much like steel beams support a building. Along those lines, many bacteria have a protein, or proteins called MREB, which acts like a chief engineer telling all the workers where to put the new supporting beams. Without the chief engineer doing his job, the whole building collapses. Now my research is to characterize two new proteins, from now on referred to as Bob and Larry, in the bacteria Bacillus subtilis, which disrupts the chief engineers and causes the building to collapse. Now my bacteria has two chief engineers, which have both overlapping and distinct roles in building construction. Now the trouble is we don't fully understand all these roles and responsibilities. So by using laboratory techniques that essentially allow me to fire each of the chief engineers individually, I'm able to ask the question, which chief engineer does Bob or Larry affect? I found that Bob affects chief engineer one, but not two. And that Larry affects chief engineer two, but not one. Which is fascinating, considering the chief engineers are so similar, they almost look the same. So what does this mean? Understanding the role that Bob and Larry have in construction and how if they work when they're not scheduled, they disrupt the chief engineers, causing the building to collapse, can give us insight into ways to target the chief engineers and by doing so, target the bacteria with novel antibiotics. To put this in perspective, we used to target the workers with antibiotics. Now, we may be able to target the guys in charge. Now I want you to imagine you're back in that hospital bed again. The doctor walks in and administers the antibiotic. She puts her hand on your head and she smiles at you gently and she says, don't worry, you're going to be all right. This is a new antibiotic made possible by research at Texas A&M. Thank you. <laughs>